today we're going to talk about auto dimension, auto constraint. I have a plant layout that was sent to me by the customer and I need to import it into Inventor. I don't need to import it all, just a couple of walls from a certain room so I can put some pipes, put some equipment in. Um, I've already copied the important bit in a different drawing and we're just going to try and import this into Inventor. There's a couple of ways of doing this. One way would be to use the import drawing function from within the sketch environment. Um, I've already moved everything to one layer so I can just keep that one. And the good thing about the import environment is that I can constrain the endpoints and apply geometric constraints which will connect all the redundant points and will close all the open loops. But um, if you have to import a lot of the drawings, a lot of sketches, um, I find it much easier to use copy-paste. I just copy-paste from one window to the other. So copy with base point from within AutoCAD and just place in the sketch in Inventor. Unfortunately, it doesn't constrain the endpoints and you have open loops and redundant points. And you can fix this in a couple of ways. One way would be to use the sketch doctor, but it tends to connect the points that are not actually uh, overlapping, but they're really, really close one to the other. So I like to use the auto dimension. In the auto dimension dialog, you, I would, I'm going to take off dimensions and leave just the constraints because I want to apply the geometric constraints. I could also use the dimensions, but it'll just clutter my drawing and it'll be very hard to work with geometry. So I'm not going to put any dimensions to to lock the geometry, I'm just I'm gonna make it a block. That way I can move it around inside the sketch without having parts of it flying all over. Right? So now it's fully movable, I can drag it anywhere, it, it won't fly, but as soon as I go inside the block and I start dragging things around, it'll go all over. I say the sketch is fine. So that way I have constrained all the overlapping points and closed all the geometry. I can constrain it to the origin now and apply a horizontal constraint to have a fully dimensioned sketch. Now I can extrude these and uh, not to worry about the open loops. I'm just going to show you the end result. We're not going to do all the extrusions. Because we work with fairly large assemblies over 10,000, 15,000 components. I don't like Inventor computing more than it should do, so I don't work with adaptivity and I break all the links on projections. I'm just going to show you that. I'm going to project all these surfaces. And I'm not sure if you can see, but it's already lost reference to the pink geometry is already lost reference to original surface, so I'm, I'm just going to break the link. And I can close the loop in a couple of ways. I can use a sketch doctor, but as I said, it tends to connect really, really close points that are not actually overlapping, and it messes up the geometry. So I'm going to use the auto constraint again. This way the, the loops are closed and the points are connected so I can use extrude, I can use revolve on it without a problem. 
Uh, this concludes the presentation on auto dimension auto constraint.